the meeting. My name is Khalid Ibrahim. I am the executive director of the uh, Golf Center for Human Rights. Uh, our mandate is to enhance and uh, protect the human rights defenders in 12 uh, countries, including Bahrain. On this particular day, the day of martyr in Bahrain, it is very important to show solidarity with the people of Bahrain. Also, equally important to remember people who lost their lives just defending the people's rights in this country. I will name some of them. Hamad Kadhu Mehsin, environmental human rights defender, was killed on the 23rd May 2017 during a violent crackdown on a peaceful city in the village of uh, Doras. Many or hundreds were arrested and others were uh, also attacked. I also remember journalist Abdel Karim Al Fakhrawi, one of the co founders of the only independent newspaper, Al Wasab, in Bahrain. He was killed after a, a very severe torture in prison. Also, I will remember the blogger, Zagari Al Ashiri, who was uh, publishing some uh, posts on the human rights violations in his country. He was also killed in 2011 after torture. Torture is systematic in Bahrain. We have a lot of cases, and there is a need to end this impunity and to bring perpetrators to face justice. We are trying our best. Uh, about two years ago, we took the British government to the high court to stop its services to prisons in Oman, Bahrain, and uh, uh, Saudi Arabia, and we managed to get this uh, a success in this case, and then we have uh, we got another case to uh, stop uh, the cabinet of ministers from making decisions that are affecting human rights in our uh, countries in the MENA region, and we, we got partial success. And from here, I am saying that all the perpetrators in Bahrain, we, I am just telling them we have well documented <laughs> cases against them. We have. The testimonies from victims, and we are just trying, because of the lack of local remedies, we are trying to find a foreign judiciary in which we could uh, get a case against all of them. They have to face justice. There is no prosperous future for citizens in Bahrain without accountability and without getting the perpetrators uh, into uh, the court of justice. On this particular day, also, I will. I have to remember my colleagues that detained the human rights defenders. And I will start with Abdul Hadi Khawaja. On the 9th of April 2011, he was disappeared for two weeks, tortured and sexually assaulted. And then in a short trial, he was sentenced to a uh, life sentence. He's staying in prison. And Abdul Hadi Khawaja, he's a well-known defender, international defender. He defended the rights and went everywhere, to Palestine, to Western Sahara. <coughs> that is the kind of defenders we have in Bahrain. And I have to mention his colleague, Nabi Rajab, the president of the Bahrain Center for Human Rights. Also, uh, Nabi tried his best to defend human rights everywhere, including in Bahrain. He's very popular in Bahrain. And maybe that's one of the reasons why he's 